Something special with the man who makes the best turkey in town, and I'm not even just picking him up. That is yes. a fact. She is uh, genuinely obsessed by your turkey. She talked about it for half an hour. This it will change the way you look at turkeys. Can I just say, this is the 31st year I've done this as a professional chef and also domestically, and it works every time. Okay. Okay. So you have turkey. Right. We'll come on to turkey in a second. Let's talk about the stuffing first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stuffing here, very simple. Here I've got. Onions, which I've browned really quite well. Yeah, because I like the like brown flavour. Brown, not brown. This is an optional extra. I'm going to put a tablespoon of brandy into there. Now, be careful because it might ignite. Oh. Um, <laughs> it might ignite. Well, I just did that in case it's even really expecting it. Okay. Right, okay. That's gone. Then you turn the heat off. You then add your sausage meat, any sausage meat, and you just want to warm. Is that just a normal pork sausage? That's a normal pork sausage, mate. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or that one. <laughs> and then just mix that together. And all you're doing is softening the fat and sausage meat to make it easier to mix. Mm -hmm. You then transfer this to a bowl. Oh, so they're not long then. Well, actually, you could go a bit longer than that. Okay. Right. It's a bit of short. It's a bit of a tight time here. Okay. Then to that, I'm going to add. These are semi dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. Actually, very sweet, you want to try one? Mm hmm. They're very nice. Mm. Okay, because this is the sweetness of stuffing. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, Look at that, the chopped ginger, fresh ginger. Oh. I'm not a great lover of the semi dried. They're coming out of a packet, the semi dried. Yes, you buy semi dried. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they are. A bit of fresh thyme or parsley, it's up mm. to you. And then literally just bring that together. And then after a while, a really short time here, the fat will come out of the, um, uh, the sausage meat and you'll see how loose the mixture will be. Right. At that point, you add one egg yeah. and a few breadcrumbs to tighten the mixture up. Okay. Okay. So what happens is the breadcrumbs will soak up the fat and it's nice and tight and end up like this. This is the sort of consistency you want to get to. Mm -hmm. Okay? Am I prod? Of course you can. But don't eat. I'll no, you don't eat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. No, 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 it's fine. What was it called? I was going to say, can you just do the bought the shop bought stuff that's going to do your version of the turkey? Of and I thought that might be good enough. Yeah. <laughs> so <you're not> <laughs> yeah. There's only one way to do this, really, yes, you know, stuff the turkey. Now, originally, the turkey was stuffed with two stuffings, one in the neck and one in the cavity. Oh, I thought that was the way around. I thought that was the other way around. Nice. So, um, not why? Why, why? why do we not do that? Because people just don't want to do it anymore. And actual fact, a couple of years ago, someone was saying that you shouldn't stuff the turkey anymore because people probably don't get food poisoned. Hello, when you stuff it or not, there still might be a problem. But if you cook it this way, or correctly, mm. it should come on to a bit Then there won't be a problem. There won't be a problem. Trust me. So you, you said a, a million people cheated I had a million people on the website last night. Yeah. Amazing. In one month. So you don't have to take notes watching this. It's all the way that. So yeah. you just tied its legs together. That's the top of the drawers and stuffing coming out. Yeah. It cooks. You then transfer this whole turkey to here. Now here I have Water, yes. a few bit of root vegetables, a bit of bay leaf. Yeah. The water is boiling. You then put the turkey it. straight on top of that. Get, this now gets tasty. Yeah. A touch of white wine. Mm. Okay. Two stock so cubes. So nothing on the skin, though? No, no, nothing. Two stock cubes. They go in. You then get a piece of foil. So nothing on the skin. Yeah. I know. I know. Trust me. Everybody goes, oh, I'm going to see I always get your this is the secret. You must seal this absolutely perfectly. So you need a chip tin with a lip, lip on it. it I have one with two handle things. No good. You need to go and buy one with a lip. You're such an anorak. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, 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 I think you are very good for Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very good Well, you haven't tasted my uh, cooking skills yet. No, we haven't. I might be a no, This is the most important thing. Much. Yeah. This must be perfect. Yeah. boil for five minutes. You can hear it boiling. Okay, it's sealed and boiling. If it doesn't, it will not cook in two hours. Not in the oven. Hang Just on. For five minutes. This is revolutionary. Right. No, it's, very, it's not rocket science. Once that's been boiling for five minutes, you put the whole thing in the oven, 200 degrees for two hours. This is a 12 pound turkey. It's 13, 14 pound turkey, it's 15, 20 minutes. So read this out on the back. Read it on the back. Go with that one. Okay. That will then cook two hours. At the two hour point, you then take the turkey out. You tip off the juice, which is your gravy, you butter the top, you turn the oven up by 20 degrees, put it back in the oven, and, and it will brown, brown perfectly. So you keep all the moisture in there, all you're doing is finishing the top first. A little bit of oil on there, a little bit of butter on the skin. Two hours, two then, then out, and then 20 minutes. 
But you will put it on the website. Will you put tell you what, what the pound is everything, or whatever your weight and how long you cook it? I even get people emailing on Christmas and they say, Phil, <gasps> the gravy. <laughs> so uh, actually, I'm not really looking at the <laughs> <laughs> so, Because I was going to email, how do you semi-dry your cranberries? You don't have to worry about that. That's <laughs> all you <laughs> <to, despite laughs> <the cranberries. laughs> Potatoes. So just do a quick thing on potatoes. Um, here I've got some goose fat, which is hot and very careful. Oh. That will burn you or burn me. You then put your potatoes in. And okay. you parboil them. Parboil these until the outside starts to fall off. No flour. Shake, shake, shake. No, no, nothing. Can you do the flour no, thing? No, don't need it. Okay. Let's be into the fat. I'm the whole thing. Flour is so 2006. Oh, move on. <laughs> move on. Be very careful. That's very hot. Back in the oven, for about 45 minutes, you turn them once. You don't do all that stuff? No. no. So it's really easy. I'm going Trust to me. completely rethink Christmas. Now, over here, <laughs> let's talk about this. Here's what's different. You stand there, folks, because I'm the. The weirdest feeling is when you say, oh, because we've got to eat around about two o'clock. No, it's not mine. It's about two o'clock. Yeah. And see, when you don't put the turkey on until midday, that freaks me out. Yeah, That's why yeah. I have to get over that this yeah. year. But it still works. For a 12 pound turkey, if you want lunch at 12 30, 10 o'clock, it's raw. To a first eating lunch. Trust me, it works. 31 years I've been doing this. Trust me. I'm going to have to trust Right. Me. Vegetables. Quick, quick test on vegetables here. Here we've got some Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. which I've put in the dressed curry pan in, and fresh mango mm -hmm. chutney. Dill, and then we'll butter on the carrots. Grilled potatoes and parsnips. And while you're doing that, there is the finished first. So well start on my life. Now. Look, I want to show you this. Every turkey I've ever, right. no offence to anybody who's ever put me a turkey Christmas, it's always been dry. Right. It? So how do you stop the dryness? Look at this. Mark, 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 Mark. You know what's in the juice? It's a thing of you know, you, know when the, you know when you go, but it's not the same. Chicken is just so much stuff and yummier. Right, we've got a couple of things to say here. Do you want to just get stuck in? Yes, sorry. You carry on. Oh, I've got okay. to fresh you turkey. Sorry. <laughs> fresh turkey from the supermarket really from the 19th of December. A medium fresh turkey is 4.5 kilos for 18 quid. Mm. A small turkey, 1 kilo is about 7.50. And if you've got any problems, go to the British Turkey Hotline or Helpline 0800 783 9994 or the British Turkey website if you're worried about cooking a turkey. And finally, Eddie Spence with the raw icing thing with a couple of years ago. He's a great friend of mine. He's not very well. So Eddie, please do. Oh, I'll give you a ring later. Oh, Phil, that is Look, amazing. Did you get what's converted? Can you carry on with the rest of the stuff? Look at that. Well, for details of Phil, the Christmas um, special, go to our website, itv.com forward slash this morning. Now, flicked up for the break, adding a sprinkling of Christmas sparkles. The great British.